they climb. <laughs> Hey everybody, Prepper Nurse One here. Today is Saturday, August 11th, 2018. And one of them's underneath, and just another one just went underneath. But uh, there's the babies. And uh, that one here that you see, this is the, the, the alpha, the white one, the white and gray. She is the alpha of the kittens. Because we, like I said, we put food down, and she is definitely. And there's mom over there. Yeah, and there's mom taking a break over there. So, uh, there's our new babies. And, uh, they're doing well. Okay, so, um, I had to show you this. We went out today, out, I shouldn't say out, we went into the garden. And we ended up picking up, or picking, 52 cucumbers today. Was it 50? I thought you said 52. 50. 50, okay. All right, well, it was either, or, either or, it's a lot of a lot of cucumbers. So we picked uh, 50 cucumbers today. So uh, I think what we're going to end up doing is we are going to be doing some canning on Monday. That's the game plan right now to get these guys all canned up. And not probably not all of them. We'll give some away, of course. But... Uh, we're definitely going to be doing some canning and making some pickles uh, on Monday. That's going to be the game plan. I, I actually, Monday, I also have to go. Well, I don't have to, but I'm going to. to there's an Amish store uh, Greg found that's not that far away from us. So I want to go over there and check out what they have and uh, see what the cost is of different things there. So we're going to do that as well. So that's what's happening as far as that goes. But uh, it's a lot of uh, cucumbers. So I wanted to talk about this. I was reading an article, and I found this to be actually pretty fascinating. Uh, with the Long Valley Super Volcano in uh, California, they said that it has 240 cubic miles of magma under there. And now they don't think that that one's going to blow anytime soon. But so to put it in perspective, in 1980. Mount St. Helens went, and uh, Mount St. Helens basically spewed out 0.29 cubic miles of magma, or you know when it, when it blew. So this has 240 miles cubic miles of magma underneath there. So just a perspective of it is just it's amazing uh, how much is underneath there. So that's crazy, <laughs> but yeah, it's just something something to think about as far as you know, the uh, the amount of magma. You know, and there are super volcanoes, guys, all throughout the entire world. And uh, they are definitely game changers. The girls just went swimming, so um, Kendall's over for the weekend. And uh, I just took them up and they went swimming. But, uh, and I was actually watching, uh, Greg was using his bulldozer and was taking out some tree stumps, so... I was up there with, with him with that, just kind of watching. Because there's really nothing else you can do when, when they're just doing that. But, uh, so anyway, there's a, lot of, there's a lot of these super volcanoes around the world. And the damage that one of these can do when they go. It's, 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 here's the thing. It's, it's not a matter of if, it's a matter of when. But obviously with the super volcanoes, we have no idea when one of these guys are going to go. You know, there's a lot of talk, obviously, with Yellowstone and uh, the, a lot of the activity that's going on out there right now. And there's a lot of video uh, about that out there. And uh, it's definitely something that I would say it needs, you know, would be to keep an eye on. You know, uh, is it going to blow? Yep, eventually. But who knows exactly when. So those are one of the things that, you know, we just don't have any kind of control over as far as when that's going to go. But, uh, you know, it's, uh, it's all those things that are out there, uh, natural disasters waiting to happen, th those are the ones that are the most scary. Uh, the super volcanoes are definitely the most scary thing that could possibly happen. And, uh, like I said, I was here, obviously, when, uh, you know, Mount St. Helens went in 1980. I was actually a 15-year-old kid when that happened, and that was pretty wild. And they got it all on you know, time-lapse when it blew and stuff like that. 
So, I mean, and that was pretty powerful, you know, to see that uh, destruction and what happened in the vicinity around there. And look, here comes, here comes the boss. She is the boss. Soxy, what you doing, baby? But, uh, anyways, uh, you know, to, to see that firsthand, you know, that was, it's pretty, pretty wild. And, uh, but uh, anyway, you know, so putting that in, per in perspective with something that has 240 cubic miles as opposed to something that released 0.29 cubic miles, that's, uh, that's pretty interesting. I mean, that would be devastation beyond belief. And it's a matter of exactly, again, of when, not if. So hopefully our technology is good enough at that point that, uh, you know, we can have a lot of people protected. Uh, from that and be ready for something like that, but uh, you know you just never know. I mean, you know one of these guys, one of these super volcanoes go. Uh, I think Toba was the last one to go, and uh, I think they said. I'm trying to think. I believe Toba went 80,000 years ago, and they've done research uh, on on you know fossils and stuff like that, and they believe that the entire world population went down to about 10,000 people after Toba went and so that in itself is scary because I mean if you think of that on that kind of a scale with today's you know we have billions and billions of people on the planet and if something like one of these super volcanoes went it just doesn't affect that area where the super volcano goes it affects the whole world eventually because it puts so much uh, ash and dust and all that up into the upper atmosphere that it's uh, you know it's a volcanic winter is what it is and uh, you'd be looking at years of little to no sunlight you know penetrating through the clouds to be able to come down and help the planet so you're gonna have plant life is gonna die which would result in uh, you know animal life dying and uh, you know those type of things so you know those those are things to think about it's, it's kind of scary. I mean, it's like I said, for something like an event like that, you really could never prep enough. Uh, you know, you could try to prep as much as you possibly could to, you know, last as long as you could. But realistically, I mean, five, ten years, I mean, of little to no food, no vegetation growing, those type of things. I mean, you would have to have serious, serious things in place ahead of time as far as bunkers and grow rooms and uh, grow lights and, and ways to produce uh, power you know other than solar so even with with the cloud cover you would still get some power through with you know with the solar you would still get some power but you wouldn't get as much as like you know on a sunny day so but you know you would you would really want to do wind and hydro and all those things and if you could obviously get all that in place ahead of time that would be fantastic but you know again those are things that cost a lot of money to put in place and that's all on a maybe and a what if but you know i look at it like this you know i i'm going to do as much as i can to prepare as much as i can because we never know what's going to happen uh, any event could happen in around the world you know natural or not natural so you know I, I like I said I sleep better at night knowing that you know I got a leg up um, you know and, and that my kids are going to be safe as much as they can be you know with you know bad times coming so that's kind of my thing that's the way I look at it so anyway that's uh, you know what I was thinking but I definitely want to hear your guys feedback what you think of these different super volcanoes and like the Long Valley uh, you know volcano there in California and uh, to have that much magma underneath it. And like I said, they don't believe that it's going to go anytime soon. But that's a lot of magma underneath there. A lot of magma. So I found that really, really interesting. And I know Yellowstone has a whole bunch under there as well. And I don't know the exact numbers for Yellowstone. But uh, Yellowstone would be my more, you know, more of a concern than a, a Long Valley uh, super volcano. So that's just me. It's, uh, I find it fascinating and interesting and, uh, you know... You just like I said, it's one of those things we don't have any control over. So, but uh, like I said, I want to hear you guys' feedback on that and uh, hear what you have to say. Now, the garden, like I said, has been doing really, really well. I guess we just pulled out 50 cucumbers today, and if you look, there's still a ton of blossoms, which means we're going to have more. And even th all through here, I mean, they, they've just absolutely gone freaking nuts. The cucumbers have so. Uh, not complaining, 
We have more peppers on the plants. I didn't pick peppers today because actually what we're going to be doing on Monday, we're going to pick whatever peppers that we have that are ready. We're going to take them up to Chris, and uh, Chris is going to teach Heather how to make stuffed peppers. So they're going to do that together. So I think that that's important for her to learn from somebody, you know, older generation person that knows how to do those things. I think it's really, really important, you know, for her to learn those type of things. So when she teaches her, then Heather will know how to do it. And uh, I think that's a really cool thing. All right, guys. So listen, I'm going to jump off of here from now. I hope everybody's weekend is going well. Uh, I will talk to you all tomorrow. Remember, hug and kiss the ones you love. Tell them every single day. Tomorrow's not guaranteed. We never know what's going to happen. And remember STD, guys. It's one step at a time, one thing at a time, and one day at a time. Whatever you're trying to do, whatever you're trying to accomplish, you can do it. The only one that's going to stop you from getting there is yourself. You know, work at things methodically. And, uh, you know, we're all on, under that money crunch. So that's always the thing that's going to hold us back from doing whatever we need to get done. But, uh, you know, hang in there, and I will talk to you all tomorrow. Prepper Nurse One, out for now. Bella. What you do, Belle? Huh? What's it doing, baby girl? Yes. Yes, a good girl.